This piece is called Normalizing. You know how <laughs> one minute we see a couple together in bliss and the next minute, silence? Like, how do you go from this to that? How you go from lovey-dovey to avoidant? We were all watching you in love. Heart popping eyes, popping bottles, holding hands under the skylight, then silence. We seen one without the other one. That's too mathematical for me. You see, I deal with words for a living. So if you broke up, just say something. Don't have us wondering, living vicariously through your life, hoping we can see ours through rose-colored glasses and foggy lenses, constantly praying and telling. God, it's me again. Are you listening? Don't get quiet when you fall into disagreement, understand or overstand what the other person meant. And no matter how much work you put in, it just seems like you're not in alignment. Shit happens. People split. That's reality, not fantasy. So be afraid to paint the perfect image of their being duality. Trust. You won't hurt us more than our past relationships did like our parents siblings cousins friends don't make it seem like it just happened and now you both disappear into thin air no 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 let's Let's normalize breaking up in public like we do when we first introduce our new boos, cuddling, getting piercings and matching tattoos, then 180 your way in an opposite direction, hoping the other person did the same so you could make a complete 360 and reappear changed. We feel your spirit is off. You're hurting. And it's okay to say, but to pretend like it doesn't make people want it. To pretend it doesn't make people want it. Love is supposed to be inspiring, not deterring. So it's okay to break up publicly.